and welcome once again to How to Tune. Glad to have you here. Uh, today is going to be Transportation Day. So planes, trains, uh, boats, we'll see what we can come up with. Lots of different vehicles today. So it's a little bit different, normally draw animals, but we may work in some characters into those vehicles. We may turn the vehicles into characters ourselves too. Um, before I get started, I do want to thank, um, again, everyone who has been sending uh, all those wonderful messages and, and mail. I'm going to switch over here because you can see up on the board, I'm starting to add all the drawings. And look, I've got a kitty cat from Tori and a flamingo from Tori, too. Um, that arrived today. So thank you so much for those wonderful drawings and, and kind letters. Those are really appreciated. Thank you so much for that. Okay. Um, we are going to be doing today, uh, as I said, uh, vehicles. But um, I'm still setting the schedule for next week. So if there's uh, special lessons you would like to learn, um, I recommend visiting the community section of the channel. And on a community section of the channel, there's a section of our community. And leave a comment to let me know. Um, other things you would like to learn. Tonight, I'll be doing a special presentation uh, this evening at uh, 7 p.m. Eastern, where I'll be illustrating some of the poems of Lewis Carroll. And that'll be on Facebook, YouTube, and uh, Twitter as well. Okay. Well, as always, remember, be kind, be supportive, and do your very best. We are going today be drawing transportation. Let's get ready to go, okay? There you go. We're going to watch our quick start video here. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, so we are going to start off with, uh, let's see, we're going to start off with a, a pretty easy one. Um, we'll start off in the air. We're going to start off with a hot air balloon. Okay, so we're going to start off with a hot air balloon. All right, blank piece of paper, everybody. Turn your paper vertically or up and down. I'm going to give myself a little bit more space there and also turn on my light. There we go. Okay, a little extra light for us. Let's begin. This is a pretty easy one. I'm going to start up high. And then flat out. And then connect. So it's sort of a, a circle, but then it flattens out. I'll show some more of the, um, the fan mail I got uh, a little bit later uh, in the class today, too, okay? All right, well, once you move that, you've got a couple little lines. But notice how the lines curve. Now, the fun thing about uh, something like a balloon is you can put any design you want on this at all. When you color it, it can be anything at all. Okay. Now, right here, I've got a line like this. And then we're going to add a basket. To add a basket, we're going to add one line down, one line up, one line down, one line up. Line across, back, and up. OK. 
Okay. There's the basket. And then the basket, you just do some hatching like this. Just lines across, then lines down. Now remember, like I said, it's your drawings. You can do just about anything with it. I'm going to put a little kitty cat in there. Barely see it. Barely see that kitty cat. Just a simple, almost like a stick figure kitty cat. And then the tail is sticking out. But remember I said you can do anything you want with the design? It's your design. You can do anything you want with it. We can make the balloon itself a kitty cat. Mouth, whiskers, and then ears. So if you want it to be a kitty cat balloon, that's all you need to add. Now I like to add some clouds here for the background. Does the microphone sound a little bit off? Let me uh, see if that fixes it a little bit. Okay, hopefully that fixes it a little bit. If you want, you can add eyebrows here. And then I have the base of the uh, basket like that. And then sign your name. Take pride in your work. Well, someone like a dog plane. Well, I think we could do that. Um, you know, actually in uh, World War I, when airplanes would fight against each other, it was called a dog fight. So I think that makes perfect sense that we would have a dog in a plane. So that's exactly what we're going to do, a dog in a plane. Okay, so blank piece of paper, everyone. Okay, now I'm going to turn this one horizontally or across or hot dog. Okay, so like this. All right, so um, we're going to draw the pilot first. All right, so we're going to start with the eyes. One, two, he's wearing goggles. Circle, circle. Don't forget, tomorrow, Friday, is by request day. So save those requests, uh, special requests for tomorrow. If they're not about vehicles, um, save them for tomorrow, okay? All right. Line out, down, in, circle. Okay, hello to Aria and Alyssa and Shauna and Melanie and who else do we have here today? All right, we're going to come up, down, out, and in like that. This is a lot like my friend Snoopy. Eyebrows. Nose out, letter P, shade it in. Okay. 
in dash in line down line up a very happy birthday to Jake Jake happy birthday right now we're drawing a dog in an airplane there's the eyeballs and then the ears are sort of just sticking out like this and then shade them in. Their ear and shade it in. Does look a lot like my friend Snoopy, doesn't it? <laughs> To give him a scarf, we just draw around like this, out, one, two, three, and back in. Line down, line down. Okay, good. Now, line, the curve down, and out. Going good, everybody. Come down, flat, and in. Got it. Out, in, around, around, like that. Good. From here to here, and then a line down. Okay, from the wing, come up and come down. Come up, triangle, in, triangle, around, down. A lot of stuff happening there, okay? A lot of stuff. Okay, now for the propeller, you just add a rectangle, around and in, around and in. Don't worry, I'm reading everybody's suggestions. I see them. Don't worry, you're fine, everyone. Uh, don't forget, tomorrow is by request day, so... Lines like this, so spinning. And then we see the other wing just sort of like tucked back there just a little bit. Two lines, little floof. And sign your name, take pride in your work okay all right let's see next up why don't we head out to sea so next up we're going to draw a boat okay so next up is a boat all right don't worry i see everybody's request you're fine everyone All right, here we go. Next is a boat. We're going out to sea, so we're going to draw a boat. And then we're going to draw a submarine. Okay, so we're going to keep our page turned like this, I think. Okay, all right. Blank piece of paper. Here we go. Come up, down, over. Kind of like a banana shape. Okay. Now 
and it's fine, everybody. Don't worry about the spamming. We're just fine. We seem to be going along at a good pace today. And remember just to save those requests for tomorrow. All right, we got some water. Okay. Good. Everybody's doing just fine. Everybody's doing great, okay? Just keep up the good work. You're doing fine. We're not worried about anything else but our drawings, okay? That's all we're worried about. All right. Um, let's make it a sailboat. Now, watch how I do this. I'm going up pretty high at the top here. I come down, but I curve out. Curve back into a point. See that bend like that is one of the tricks to drawing a sailboat because it's filled with wind so it bends. A lot of times when people draw a sailboat they want to just draw a triangle. But it's not. You have to fill it with wind. Okay. Now, once you have that, round and in, and then one line down, two lines down, out and in. Oh, I, I see I performed at someone's school. I, I performed at schools all over the country. So some of you may have seen me at your school. I, like I said, I do travel all over. Lena, don't worry. I see your post, but try not to spam, okay? You only need to type things once or twice is all we need. Okay. Um, next, we're going to add the wood, the sort of texture of the boat. So you get a line going across like this, and then you break it up with some wood panels. But the trick to this is to alternate. You don't want a bunch of straight lines going down. You want to see how I'm making their uh, offset. See? Good. And then you, I don't mind just two little dots for um, nails. All right. Uh, in the boat, let's see. I think I'm going to put a parrot. Okay? What do you think we'll put a parrot in the boat? So circle, circle, period, period. Good. The beak around. Down, out, in, and up. Okay, next I think we're going to give him, let's give him a pirate hat. To do that we go up and out. And then you draw sort of just a little skull shape in there. And then you shade in everything else. Good. Okay, we've got a little feather, what do I got?
Yeah, remember if you do spam too much, I do have to put in a timeout just because we don't want um, there to be any lag. We want everybody to be able to draw and participate in the class. So please keep that in mind. Okay. Scribble, 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 scribble. Down. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have the one of the wings there and down and one of the wings here. And then we see some tail feathers sticking out. And then sign your name, take pride in your work. There is your parrot in a boat. Good job, everybody. Okay, next is a submarine. We're gonna add a little bit more detail to this one. I love drawing submarines. Uh, we have to decide who's gonna be piloting our submarine, but let's go ahead and give it a shot. Okay. All right, here we go. Blank piece of paper, everybody. Submarine. Okay, we're going to start with sort of this dome. Submarines look a lot like, um, when I draw them, they look a lot like UFOs too, but... Leah, you can add a skull onto the sail. It's your, your boat. Go right ahead. Okay, connect. And then around, connect. Okay. Little periscope. Out, in, out. Down. Okay, don't worry. I see everybody's requests. Some of these might be a little bit better for, um, some of the requests a little bit better for tomorrow, but that's okay. We'll see. All right. Down, flatten out, up, flatten out, and in. Notice the back is a little more narrow than the front. The front's a little wider. Hi, Isaiah. Nice to see you. Good. Okay, down, round. Line out, small rectangle, propeller, good. And then right here we have uh, headlights up front. It's just like a circle and then a letter C connected to it. One, two, one, two. And we see part of it right there, too. Yeah, as I said, submarines, they, they can look a lot like UFOs, depending on how you design them. I'm going to add a couple little portals here. One, two. Two is probably good. And then underneath, we're just going to add a rudder. A rudder is just sort of a little square, and then line like that. Now, who should be piloting our submarine? I want you to think about who's driving the submarine, but we're going to draw a little fish over here, too. But who is driving our submarine?
Whoever it is, our little fishy seems surprised. Who is piloting our submarine? I'm looking for suggestions. Who's driving the submarine? Is it a person? Is it an animal? We've had a cat so far. We've had a dog. What haven't we had yet? Anybody have any suggestions? I'm going to wait. I'm going to add some more characters here. I think I'm going to add a little jellyfish back here. <laughs> I like a, a blowfish driving. Okay, that's kind of funny. So we're going to draw a little... Yeah, there's a blowfish driving the submarine. Get a little reflection there. But if you want to put something else driving your submarine, you can. It's entirely up to you. So there is our blowfish driving a submarine. Some little bubbles. Good. Okay. Good job, everybody. Okay. So let's see. We've had, uh, we, we've, oh, oh, I've got a really fun one. Oh, I've got a really fun one. Um, I've got a really good one we're going to do next. Okay. We're going to do a unicycle. All right. A unicycle. <laughs> and I'm trying to think who we should put on a unicycle. What would be funny riding a cycle? How about a, what do you think, a hippo on a unicycle? Or we could draw a person. We could draw a clown on a unicycle. What would you guys like to draw on a unicycle? I'm going to turn the page. All right, next up is a unicycle. That's all, like a one-wheeled bicycle. Okay. So um, let's see, what do we want to draw on a, oh, okay, uh, on a unicycle, what should we draw on a unicycle? We've got bunny, dragon, cow, cow, oh, that's funny, that's a good one. Um, oh, I need to say it once, a duck, oh, that's a good one, I love drawing ducks, hippo, frog, Hmm, let's see. I think lots of good lots of good answers here. Oh my goodness. You only need to say it, remember, only say it once. That's okay. All right, I think we're gonna go with a duck on a unicycle, okay? All right. So I'm gonna actually start with the drawing of the duck. One. Two for the eyes. Now save these suggestions because don't forget tomorrow is by request day. Don't forget tomorrow is by request day. And don't forget it. We still have a few more drawings to do today too. So, Okay. All right. Here we go. Out and in, out, letter V, out, in, around. Okay. Now, don't worry. I see all these requests. We're going to try and get as many as we can. Still got a few more drawings today, so don't worry. And then tomorrow's by request day, so lots of fun ones tomorrow. Head. Scribble, 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 and in. I'm going to stop there for a second and let everyone catch up. I am going to add the eyebrows. Okay. And 
Don't worry, I see everybody's messages. Okay. Tori, we're going to do a dragon in a rocket. So don't worry, we will work that in. Okay, one line down, two lines down. And then the wings. Good. All right. Round out. One, two, three, and up. Okay, one, two. Okay, now, this is a little bit tricky part because we've got to make the legs bent so you can be pedaling. Okay, so down, out, up, down, up. Around, then one, two, three, and in. Okay. So we're going to put a pedal right under that foot and shade it in. Okay. Don't worry, I see everybody's suggestions. If we don't get them today, we'll add them to another class. Don't worry. We'll do as many as we have time for today. Okay, the seat is just right here. And then you have... Two lines down. Okay. Now a unicycle is just a wheel. So you have to add the wheel behind all this. This is the tricky part. And then you do that again. Okay. Good. Then right in the set center, there's a circle and then spokes like this. All right. Now the other leg is just sort of sticking out here. Like he's having a little bit of trouble balancing on his unicycle. All right, and then sign your name, take pride in your work. There is your duck on a unicycle. Okay, next up is a dragon in a rocket. A dragon in a rocket. Okay, remember today's topic is transportation, so it's all vehicles, things that move, things that we use to get around. So next up is a dragon in a rocket. Melanie, don't be mad. What would you like to learn to draw? You can, you can put your suggestion up there. Don't worry, we still got time. All right, here we go. Blank piece of paper. Also, everybody remember, there's a new coloring book up on my website, mazetunes.com. Okay, so be sure to check that out. Uh, new coloring book up. I take a bunch of these drawings and I'll turn them into coloring books every now and then. So there are now four different coloring books up along with a bunch of mazes too. Okay, dragon in a rocket. So we're going to start with the rocket. Down, round, out, up, and in. Okay. Okay, down, out, around, and in. All the classes will run between about 45 minutes to one hour. Uh, 
Uh-oh, it looks like Hamilton the cat is getting into the act there and maybe trying to draw with the notebook. <laughs> Okay, then right back up here, gonna draw a letter C backwards, and then a letter V on its side. And then some flame. Okay, so we're going to have a dragon sitting on our rocket. Uh, I decided to have it sitting on it. I thought that'd be funnier. Um, and then after this, uh, we're going to draw a train, which has a lot of detail in it. Okay. All right. So this we're going to start a little bit different because we're going to start with the legs first. It's unusual for us to start with the legs first, but because... It's connected to the rocket. Okay. Then up here and down. One, two. It's a little bit different pattern for us. A little bit different way of drawing. Good. Tail. Okay, now line up. We're saving the head for last, which is really different style for us than usual. Okay, so let's be patient on this one. Got the arms, one, two, three, and then down connect, down connect. Thank you for everyone who's liking and subscribing. I know some of you have already subscribed. Thank you very much. Thank you to everyone who likes the videos. And thank you everyone who has been sending um, all the wonderful uh, fan mail and drawings. Really appreciated that too. Okay, other legs just right back here, and then you've got some lines on the stomach. Melanie, I see your uh, request for a motorcycle. Yes, we will do a motorcycle. I'm going to save that one for last probably because that one's the toughest to draw of everything. Motorcycles are the toughest to draw. Um, a vehicle. So I'm going to save that one for last. Okay. Round. Circle. Circle. Period. Period. And I can see everyone, don't worry. Uh, labs, I can see you just fine, don't worry. Down, up, up, out, in, out, in. Okay, some teeth, eyebrows, and then 
the little crenellations, the little spiky things on the back, just up and down, up and down, over and over and over. And then remember, it's your dragon, so you can add anything you want to it. If you want polka dots or stripes, I'm going to add another hand sticking up here. But anything you want to add. Robin wants to put TNT on the rocket. You could do that. It's yours. He definitely seems a little worried. Maybe like, uh, yeah, he's worried that's going to explode like a cartoon. I'm going to add a little bit of shading here on the other side. See these lines like that? That's just a little bit of shading. And then how about some stars in the background to show he's in space? And then sign your name, take pride in your work. There is your dragon on a rocket. That's a good one. Very good, everyone. Okay. I think we have time for two more. Um, next up, it's a lot of detail. It's a tough one. Um, yeah, you can add wings to your, you can always add wings. Always, always, whatever you want. You can add wings, of course. Next up is going to be a train. But what we're going to do is we're going to anthropomorphize the train. Does anybody remember what anthropomorphize means? Uh, anthropomorphic means an inanimate object or animal that has human traits. So what we're going to do is we're going to make the train like a living creature. We're going to make the train actually um, living, kind of like Thomas the Tank Engine or something along those lines. Okay. All right. So a cartoon train. It's up to you if you want to give your dragons wings. I, I sometimes, I don't like to give, I didn't think he would have drink, wings because he needed a rocket to fly. So, all right. We're going to turn our paper like this. Okay. Good. All right. Here we go. This is going to be uh, a train, but it's going to be a train that has very uh, human-like qualities to it. Personification. That's right, Alexa. Very good. It's very much like personification. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with, um, let's actually start with the back wheels. One. Two. Three circles. Okay, so you have one, two, three circles. And then one line, two lines, three, four, maybe five. Okay. Okay. Add a little bit of depth at the bench. We're going to add a thin line here. Okay. Now we got two smaller wheels. One, two, one, two, one. Two, and then some lines in there. Good. Okay. And then we see sort of this little thing like this. Circle, line, line. That's what makes the steam engine. That's sort of what makes the... Um, motion go. It sort of uh, helps keep it moving forward. Okay.
Good job, everybody. Okay, so now we're going to add the front of the train. Around. Ah, but leave a little gap there, okay? Because we're going to add something that's called a cow catcher. That's actually what it's called. So you had a line across like that. Good. Down. In. Back out and up. Okay. Now watch how I do this. I'm going to come up, over, down, up, over, down, up, over, down. This is a very, very tough one. So don't worry if you, you struggle with this one. It's okay. This is a really tough one. I'm trying to save the toughest ones for last. Um, the next one on motorcycles is a little bit tougher, so I'm going to try and slow down a little bit. Okay, come up, in, and then we're going to add the, the smokestack. Okay. Good. Okay, now we're going to go back. We're going to add the face right on here on the front. Don't worry about making mistakes. That's how you learn. That's how we all learn. I make mistakes all the time. I really do. So you've got a circle and then a little line right next to it. There's the eyes and nose and mouth. Okay. Good. Now we're going to start, we're going to come to the back. We're going to connect a line there, line here, line here, connect down. Good. Okay, come up, over, up, over, and down. Okay. Good. If you haven't already, take a moment to just give the video a like. Let me know you're enjoying the show. Come over, around, and down, and then up. All right, good. This next one's a little bit tricky. We're going to come out, over, and in, down, down. See how that creates a little bit of dimension and depth? Excellent. Up, over, down. We're almost done with this one. Over, down, over, up, square. Okay. Okay. Doing great, everybody. Can I have a line coming like this? Right off the page.
Okay. And then a square inside here. Okay, and then you're going to follow this line again, this line here, right off the page. And then one line down here, one line down here, one here, one here. And then you add in tracks. Good. Very, very good, everyone. A little bit of steam coming out of the train there. And then if you want, you could put a number on the side. I like to do engine, engine, number nine. But you could put any number you want. Eyebrows if you choose. And then sign your name. Take pride in your work. There is your train. Well, I think we have time for one more. Um, last one is going to be a motorcycle. And I have to admit, I, I motorcycles are really, really tough to draw. I have a tough time with them drawing them myself sometimes. So we're going to take our time. We're going to go real slow on this one. Okay. And we're just going to make it look real nice, but we're going to just take our time on it. Okay. We're not going to rush. That's the big thing. We're not going to rush through this. Okay. All right, so there is your train. Set that aside. Next up, our motorcycle. Okay. All right. Let's begin. Blank piece of paper. What we're going to do is we're going to draw. What should we draw riding our motorcycle? I didn't think about that. What should we draw riding a motorcycle? You know if it's up to me, I'm going to make it a chicken, but maybe you have a suggestion. I'm going to start drawing the motorcycle, and I'm going to wait for your suggestions too, okay? So we'll start with the handle. That we can draw without worrying about the character just yet. Okay, and then we're going to come in slightly and then down. And in. Now I'm going to leave the space because I still got to make it decide what is driving the. Uh, okay. Still got to decide who's driving this. Let's see. A snail, a bunny. I'm going to have to say it once. Elephant, giraffe, ant. Lizard. Ooh, I like lizard. You know what? I think we're going to do lizard uh, just because that's one we don't draw a lot. Um, and that would be a fun one. Oh, <laughs> hi, Yogi. Um, we're going to do lizard. So a lizard driving a motorcycle. Good suggestions, everyone, though. All right. Down, over, up. Down, over, up. Now you notice I leave all these little gaps here because I gotta work in the lizard sort of holding on to the. One, two, three. One, two, three. Gonna go real slow on this one because it's a lot of drawing. Motorcycles are very, very tough to draw, I think. Okay, and then connect here, come around here, draw the arms in, come around here, draw those arms in. Okay, so we're going to leave that right there like that for now, all right?
good. And we're going to come down and we're going to add two lines and we're going to add a headlight. Headlight looks like this, sort of like a half moon and then around. For those who have to go, bye bye. We'll see you again. Remember, you can check back later to see the finished drawing. I'll post it a little bit later today. And then don't forget tonight, I'm doing a special uh, presentation. Okay, good. Come down, out, over, up, over like that. Good. Out and in. Now ready for our first wheel. Round, round, and then you're going to shade all this in. Shade that in. Hi, Max. How are you today? Welcome. Yes, and a big shout out to Logan, who uh, supported the show today. Thank you so much. And thank you to your mom for participating, too. All right. So we have the arms. We have the handlebars. We have the headlight. We have the front wheel. Put a line like that. Now, we're going to go back to drawing some more of our lizard. Come down. This. Connect. Good. Okay. Now we'll deal with the, the rest of the lizard a little bit later. We're going to focus on getting the motorcycle done. Okay. So you've got the seat. The seat goes right back here. And you can sort of shade that in, but I'm going to shade it in with just line shading. I'm not going to shade it in completely. I'm just sort of darkening it up a little bit. And then you have to work in the engine and all these other parts, but we're not going to draw a lot of these. What we're going to do is we're going to add a line across, and then we're just going to add lines like that. Sean, I'm sorry to hear you got hurt. I know how you feel. I hurt my back very badly uh, last week, and it still hurts a lot. But the show must go on, as we say in the entertainment world, okay? So I've got a little circle behind here, behind the legs. Got it? Okay, now, we're come out, at a circle, in. Down, up, down, up. Out, in. And then there's a wheel behind all this. So to draw the wheel behind it, we have to just sort of draw a line going through, around, around, and then we're going to shade that all in. Oh, 
Aria, don't worry. Keep going because here, here's the important thing when you're drawing. Even if you mess up a drawing a whole bunch, you think, okay? As long as you keep going, there might be one thing you learn. Maybe you learned how to draw a headlight now, or now you know how to draw a wheel. So even though it might not look perfect, the whole drawing, that little piece you learned will help you next time. Like I said, this one is a really, really tough one. I knew everyone was going to struggle with this one a little bit, so don't worry about it. I struggle with drawing motorcycles. Um, I really do. I don't like drawing bicycles, and I don't like drawing motorcycles. Never have. Okay. And then there's some little random part in here. I don't even know what it is. There's just some random little something. Okay, so that's our uh, motorcycle, but we need to finish up our lizard. We're going to give him uh, a helmet. Okay, and then that's where the head's going to go, right into the helmet. Big eyes. Got it, and then there's the strap for the helmet it goes right here. And then you can put a design on the helmet, anything you want. And you can put a design on your lizard too. Give him a little line for the stomach there, but and then what do we do to finish up our drawing? Everybody, say it out loud. What do you do? That's right. Sign your name. Take pride in your work. That was a really tough one, everybody. And I'm proud of you just for even trying because that was a tough one to draw. And anytime you try, that means you're learning. And that's the most important thing is that we're all here to learn to draw. None of us are experts. Well, I'm not an expert. I'm just still learning too. So we're all learning and you're all doing a really great job. All right, everybody. Fantastic. Well, that was an exciting, interesting last one to end on. Uh, something that I've never drawn before, a lizard on a motorcycle. So I like it when I learn something new too. All right, everybody. I want to thank you so much. You did a wonderful job. I really appreciate you being here today. Thank you very, very much. Um, be sure to check out all the other videos here on howtotune.com, here on the How To Tune channel, okay? Be sure to check them out. I add new ones all the time. Be sure to check out my website, mazetunes.com. I have a brand new coloring book up. Coloring books are free to download. Check out Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, gocomics.com. My website, of course, mazetunes.com. And of course, please subscribe to How To Tune, okay? Thank you very much. Well, it has been another wonderful afternoon here with you. Thank you so very much. Uh, enjoy visiting the site. Enjoy your drawings. Be sure to share them with your friends and family. I posted a new video, too, um, that is an activity you can do with the whole family. Oh, and I want to show one last thing before we go. Oh, I don't want to forget the show. Tori, look. There we go. There's Kitty Cat. There's Flamingo. Uh, Caden has a drawing up here, too. Uh, so I've got Logan has a drawing up here. So thank you, everybody, for sending your drawings. I didn't want to forget to mention that. So thank you for your drawings. Uh, if you do want to send me uh, drawings or fan mail, you can send those to... Right here. Da -da 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 -da. Joe Oaks, P.O. Box 185, Oakmont, PA 15139. Thank you very much. Grown ups who are enjoying the show, uh, and I hope you are. I hope we have lots of teachers and parents tuned in too. Um, you can always support me uh, via PayPal. Um, just um, da -da 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 -da. there it is. 
So if you do want to uh, donate to the show, uh, thank you very much. It's um, not necessary, but it is appreciated. So thank you very much, everyone. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for being here today. I will see you tonight or tomorrow, um, but check out all the videos. Thanks, everybody. Have a wonderful day. Be sure and stay tuned.